In this module, you will learn how to add a single or multiple Fiery XF servers to your Fiery Command Workstation interface. Using Fiery Command Workstation, you can log on to any Fiery XF server or Fiery Cutsheet server that is installed on your network. Once you have set up a connection to a Fiery server, Command Workstation automatically logs on to that server whenever you restart the computer or relaunch Command Workstation, as long as that specific Fiery server is still running. Before you begin, make sure that the Fiery XF server you want to connect to is running. The Fiery server control icon located in the taskbar of the server computer displays a white arrow on a green background when the server is running. If the server is not running, click on the Fiery server control icon to open the window and click on the green icon at the top of the window and Fiery XF server will start. When it has successfully started, Launch Fiery Command Workstation. In the Welcome screen, click the Add button. On the pop-up window that appears, a list of servers that Command Workstation has located will be displayed. This list can contain both Fiery Inkjet and Fiery Cutsheet servers. The names of the servers reflect the computer name that the Fiery server is installed on. If the desired server does not appear on the list, you can enter the name or the IP address of the server you would like the installation of Command Workstation to monitor. If you click on the Advanced Search button, in the window that appears you can enter a range of IP addresses to scan, along with an optional keyword to filter the list of server names that appear. It is recommended that you limit the IP address search range so as to not create excessive network traffic. Notice that in either list, the window displays the server type, such as a Fiery XF Inkjet server or a Fiery Cutsheet server. I'll select the Fiery XF7 server named ProServer1 and click Add. The default login appears and I'll enter the default password, Fiery.1, with the F in Fiery in uppercase. Because you want to have full rights to the system to set up all of your defaults, you'll want to select the admin user, type Fiery.1 as the password, and then click Login. Adding a printer to your server will be covered in the next module in this e-learning course. The name of the Fiery XF server is the same as the computer name that the server is installed on. If you would like to use a different name for the Fiery XF server, simply change the name of the computer. If you would like to connect to an additional Pro server or installation of Fiery XF7, click on the plus sign and add another server the Command Workstation is located. If you have a server on the network that does not appear on the server list and you know the IP address of the server, you can enter it in this window. With the IP address entered for the second server, I'll click Add enter the password, and click Login. In the left-hand column in Command Workstation, you can now see both servers listed. If I select the second server that was added, you can see that it has already been connected to a printer and jobs have already been imported for processing and printing. while the first server added needs to have a printer connected to it and defaults configured. You can also add a server for a cut sheet output device. Clicking on the plus sign once again, I'll select a third server, which is driving a cut sheet device, and again log in as the administrator. Back in the main Command Workstation interface, you can see that I now have access to all three of the servers, two inkjet and one cutsheet. When working with multiple servers, it will no longer be necessary to log out of your Fiery XF client in order to log into a different installation of the Fiery XF server, which was the case when using versions of Fiery XF prior to version 7. Simply click on the server in this column and you will be able to configure all of the settings for that server, any printers connected to it, 
and process and monitor job status on all of your servers. Also, you can get the complete picture about what is happening in your print shop by clicking on the Home button, where you will see a summary of all server activities. You can now move on and learn how to add a printer to a FireEXF7 server. This completes this module.